Hey everyone, I'm Dan and I am building this expedition truck. So today we've got a real, real doozy of a problem. Today I'm working on the front door. Now, as some of you may know, this door is a two piece door. So because the roof lifts up, the door also has to lift up, but it opens as one piece. So that means that the hinges have to be uh, two, two different offsets, but they have to the, the center of the hinge has to be aligned. And it's something I've been having a lot of trouble with because the bottom hinges here weren't perfectly aligned with the top. And when it opened up, it was trying to pull the top of the door out. So it was pulling the top frame, the roof frame off the lower frame. And it sounds sort of easy enough. You just gotta, you know, make the hinges align, but it's really not that simple. And it's something that I'm having, that I find really difficult to visualize. So I'm basically today, I'm trying to rebuild these hinges. I've set up this little clamp situation here where I can sit the door on and try and work out the right offset for the hinges because the thing is, if you, you know, if you, if you try to extend one hinge, if you try to extend the hinges a little bit to make them align, it, it, um, it affects the closing point of the door and that affects where it seals. So you gotta, you know, add a little bit to this side and then you gotta take a little bit off the other side and then you gotta have it just in the right spot. Otherwise the bottom won't seal or the top won't seal. You know, it'll be too far back or too far forward. Uh, it's, a, it's a real tricky one. I've actually been working, I wasn't intending to make a video on this because I just didn't think I had the energy to do both, but it's so such a pickle that I thought everyone would like to just see what's going on with this. So I'll put the door on there and I will try to show you what I'm talking about. So the way I'm trying to work this out is by packing the door out at the top and then making it even all the way down and then just testing it with the hinges and making sure I can get the hinges in line and it'll close onto the seal nicely. But it's not really working. I'm struggling to work it out. So I think what I'm going to do is put the door in and compress the seal and then slide the hinges in and try and get them lined up that way. Put the door in, of course, I just locked all my tools inside there. So now I'm just gonna have to climb up over the roof into the inside, get the tools out, and then we can start having a look at it. Oh. And now that I'm in here, I've just put a little packer in there, which is behind the top door frame, pressing against the, lo the outside of the lower door, and it's compressed this seal a little bit, and the the top seal so now we know roughly that the seal is compressed and the door is roughly in the right spot so we can go and try and work the hinges out okay that block and that packer in there will compress the lower part of the seal so now that seal should be compressed all the way up it's 10 mil just been doing some quick maths on this block of wood here and I think I've worked it out. So I think the top hinge, the center line will be 16 millimeters out from the body of the truck and the lower hinge, the center line will be 60 millimeters out from the bottom of the truck. These are the hinges that I'm using. They're oversized hinges, but where I need to cut them, it's gonna go slightly through these holes. So I'm just gonna use the stick welder fill these holes, then I'll rub it back and I'll cut them down to size. I've got my blank hinges here and I just welded some new tabs onto the lower hinges. I'll just tack them on for now actually. So now I'm gonna go and take the door out and I'll put it back around where we had it at the beginning and I will drill the holes out for the top hinges and start trying to see how our alignment looks. I've got the door on and I've started putting the hinges on, but I've decided to change tactics a little bit. So initially I had these top hinges, they fixed on the inside of the door frame here like that. And the bottom, the lower hinges have a little tab coming off them and they 
fix onto the front of the door frame. And I've decided to modify the top hinges to make them the same as the bottom, so they fix onto the front, because this way, when I have them fixing inside the door frame, I've got no way of packing it in or out. I've got no control over where it goes every time I need to, and it's such a fine adjustment. If I need to change anything, I have to, you know, weld the holes up and re-drill them. So I've already put one top hinge on. I have welded a little tab onto the front and then just checked a bit out of this trim here. So now I can pack this out a little bit and pack the lower ones out a bit and in the, in the middle and it gives me a lot more control over the alignment, which is a much better way of doing it. So I've already done one and I've, it's just tacked on at the moment and I've just fixed it on there temporarily. Now I'm just gonna put this one in and, and this lower one and we'll see how the alignment looks and then I'll be able to weld it out and fix them on permanently. Just checking out this little bit of trim here and it is possible to cut aluminium with a sharp chisel. Although it's not very good for your chisel, but it can be done. That's three out of four hinges on, and it's at the moment it's opening pretty nicely, but this hinge here is the, the real troublemaker. That one has to be really well aligned with this one, otherwise we have the same problem that we had before where the wall, where it tries to pull this top wall off the bottom wall. It's opening and closing pretty well, but one problem that we're having is that these hinges are mounted, you know, the, the whole thing is not really perfect, so it's not all completely aligned. It's pretty, tr pretty tricky to get something like this all lined up perfectly. But these bottom hinges are slightly further over, to slightly further towards the front, so they're kind of leaning over a little bit, which is okay, but it means that the back of the hinge is sort of not square with the back of the door so i'm going to just make a little relief cut on the back of these hinges i'm going to try and make a tiny little bend just to try and get the back of the hinge square with the back of the door so it's not trying to pull it over on an angle if you know what i mean it's all very kind of precariously held in place It'll be interesting to see how it operates once you know we're on some uneven ground hopefully the torsion free subframe will allow that to happen. All right, those hinges are on in place and it's looking pretty good. Now I'm just gonna weld the top hinges out and we'll fix those on permanently. Just welded this one out and it has pulled really badly, of course. So this is the sort of thing that I've got to deal with all the time when you doing DIY stuff, you got all these little issues. So I'm just gonna, tr it barely even opens now. So I'm just gonna put a couple of shifters on it and see if I can bend it back straight. Well, it's not 100% straight, but it, it opens and closes without too much trouble. So it should be okay. All right, I've got the hinges on and it's swinging pretty nicely. The alignment's pretty good. This hinge and this hinge is the causing the biggest problems and that they're within about a millimeter of each other. I don't think I'm gonna get it much better than that. It's still not completely perfect. As it opens, this hinge flexes a little bit, less than a millimeter, maybe even about half a millimeter. But I, I don't think I'm gonna get it any better than this. There's just so many so many factors at play you know this there could be something a little bit out of square or a little bit a little bit out of parallel and that tiny little amount you know it, it builds up and builds up and it can cause a problem but it's all right at the moment it's it, it it's two pieces but it is pretty solid 
the door. So that's it for this video. I'm just gonna leave it there. I've spent two days working on these hinges and it's not the first time I've redone them as well. It's probably all up I've spent, you know, at least a week working on this door and these hinges alone. Just little things like this kind of, I get kind of discouraged in a way or I, I kind of get a bit overwhelmed by just the amount of work there is still to do, the amount of work that I've done and the amount of work there is still to do. And then, you know, in the back of my mind, I just wonder once I get this thing out on the road, is it just gonna, fall, you know, fall to pieces? Is it gonna work? But I don't know, I guess that's just, that's part of the journey. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.